Hello everyone, and as always, welcome back to Strategy Gaming Dojo, where we find, learn, and play one more turn of the great strategy games, and today it's back into our PBEM challenge, and it is now April 25th of 1943, April of 43, what happened this time, turn report, allies deliver resources to China, Two times, one through the Burma Road and one through the air hump. UK warship advancement up to 43, so the old UK ship's looking good, looking pretty. We'll go see what that means. Uh, US get 10 more landing ships, okay, we can probably start to dial it back on those. I mean, you know, eventually we're going to land again out on Java, but, you know, we're taking Malaya now. Once we take Malaya, we can start to focus on maybe China. I mean, if we could push them back there, hell, I don't even know. Do we ever even land on Java? Potentially not. Um, we could, you know, kind of cut him off. We can get our subs out there as well and uh, really slow down the supply out to Java. Uh, fleet has low supply. We'll have to go see which one that is. I guess we're going to find out right now. This is the one out by Nomaya. This just isn't working, our interdiction uh, out here in this port. Uh, okay, we'll just bring it back in, get it a little more supply. Then we had partisans operating out in the Chinese countryside. All right, just outside of Peking there. Um, looking over China, it all stays, you know, sort of the same, looking good. As we move down here, we now have this unit isolated. We can now move on Singapore, uh, and otherwise, and otherwise. Um, we do have this United States unit sitting at Comron. I was thinking about sneaking around the backside here, uh, at Shantou. Uh, that would then put us a, a convoy going into the South China Sea Lane. I don't, you know. Is that a good idea? Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Um, deployment. What can we deploy this time? We've got a comment here. Okay. Where do we want to put the comment down? What's going on comment-wise? He asks. Um, hmm. Well... I guess, uh, where do I really want to see what he's got? I mean, a little bit of everywhere, right? But uh, I just sort of make sure he doesn't have anything in Singapore. We'll put this out there. It gives us a little more intelligence on some of these air units, things like that. I think him having these unguarded is probably not a good idea. The problem is, is the, a lot of these places don't have ports. I mean, he knows that. So ultimately, you know, we'll have to figure out what to do with that. What are the U.S.? Uh, doing, we got a tactical air group that's ready to fly. Let them fly, boys. Uh, I mean, we've got air units everywhere. Uh, I mean, literally everywhere. Uh, we're gonna have to get start getting some of these moved out. Uh, deploy. I guess we'll have to do this one there. Okay. Um, let's see. Soviet Union. Okay, they'll get something next turn. China, we have another group that's ready, another army group. Where do we want to put that down? Uh, it's a good question. It's a good question. Where is he really threatening? I, I'm not sure there is a place, to be honest with you. Uh, let's just put him back here behind Changsha. Uh, that is a nice, strong unit. It's already built up. Uh, okay. Now then, Australians, they'll get one, not next turn, but the turn after. Canadians, no. Uh, communists, not yet. They're a couple of months away. India gets one next turn. All right, we're just cranking out units. That all looks good. To the combat log, last time. All right, Car or, uh, partisans, carrier strike. Uh, he did try to hit this Indian unit. Didn't do a whole lot of good. Uh, he's got carriers up here, but really, I mean, what are they up to? I, you know, what are they going to do here? We've got all the land hexes, so uh, not a whole lot they can do. They tried to hit that 26th division again. Didn't do much good. Uh, we got another ground strike from the 6th air. 6th air. Uh, oh, well, the Indians did get involved here. Our aces up here. Um, air to air combat. 15th air division tried to hit our elite British unit down here, and he took four in losses. We took two, okay, uh, and then they tried to hit here again. So the Indians did get up in the air and did a nice little job. Uh, this is all partisan activity. We won't go through all that. Let's just go see, oh, and they're right back up to 20. Uh, so they took two losses, got immediately repaired. Um, 
Okay, well, I guess we'll, as usual, start over here in India. Eh, not a whole lot going on. We got a strong unit in Calcutta, which is what we want. We've got divisions out here at these areas. Uh, this unit's not really doing a whole lot, so that's a 30 of 30. It's probably even stronger than we need, if I'm being honest, but okay. Um, this is a division. We'll get that actually down here into Chittagong, and we'll get this Indian unit moving around. It's just a matter of where I, what I want to do with it. I, I may eventually take some of these Indian units. I mean, this is an infantry corps small. We may eventually take some of these and start moving into China. Um, okay, so there's that. Uh, we've got this American Air that could hit this unit. Uh, why don't we put this one down in Tavoy? Yeah, we could airstrike here, but I, I just, you know, why, really? We could put him into Chumpton. Uh, he is then protected by that air superiority group. Let's put him into Chumpton, and then let's split this unit into two. We'll have one in Mole Mine. Uh, we'll get, the, whoops, let's get the other one down into Tavoy. Eh, I can't quite get there this time. Uh, we'll do that next time. All right. This unit, uh, I was kind of holding back a little bit, but why don't we have this one be the one that starts moving out towards China? Uh, why not? Why not? Let's do it. Um, all right, so those are broken up now. Got a very strong British unit in Bangkok. We have the all all big leader out here. He's uh, commanding all British troops, really. Uh, we could hit here four to one. Let's hit shift and see what we see. Eight to one. All right. So he surrenders. Uh, goodbye. Adios. See you later. Um, and now we'll get going down to Kuala Lumpur and on to Singapore. As a matter of fact, why don't we take this Indian unit and have that be the one that gets going uh, the fastest down there. Uh, because we really just are going to hang on to Kota Baru and Singapore. Uh, this is an infantry corps large. Let's actually back him up uh, and split him. All right. So the smaller unit we'll put into Kota Baru. The larger unit we'll bring down to Singapore. Uh, then we've got these British units. And it's kind of a matter of, well, what do we do with them? I, I guess originally, actually, we'll, we'll schedule this one for Kota Baru. Um, but let's go ahead and put that British unit in there for now. Um, and then eventually we'll ship him out somewhere. And I think I can split these. Uh, these guys, though, can't rail him. Let's get them going back the other direction. Uh, because ultimately we either want to jump over to Sumatra, which would mean Bandar Lampung, uh, and Batavia down into Java. We either want to do that or we want to jump over this way. Uh, with the Americans, I think we'll set up attacking Manila eventually. I think that's the way we would want to go with that. Do, 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 do. But that, we can wait on that just a little bit. Um, I was, you know, contemplating this move to go here... If we put him on transports, do they have any landing ships? He does not. Uh, the Brits do not. Okay, so let's undo that. The U.S., if we put them on landing ships, this is a 30 of 30. He's got 100 landing ships. I mean, he could come in here and land directly behind here. Now, they would still be getting supply out of Fu Chu, or Fu Chow, I should say. Um... So do we wait and get another American unit ready to go? Uh, maybe. Let's see what we've got here. We've got third tactical group, so we've got another air unit that can come in here. Let's just, I guess, put them into Tavoy. Nah, I, I don't like to leave air units unguarded. I feel like he's made that, I say he, the other players made that mistake a few times. Uh, so let's just go here. I mean, there's no reason for us to be taking chances at this point. Uh, so the 12th is in there. That looks fine. All 
All right, these guys are going to start moving off towards China. I, I just don't see why they wouldn't. As a matter of fact, I could even start moving this unit out, and I could split this. We split this infantry corps small, put one in Kamran. We'll eventually put one in uh, Nagwai, or Quang, Quang Na, my fault. Uh, and we'll start moving this Indian unit up here to come help. Uh, may as well. Let's go for it. We've got strong units in Sa Saigon and Bangkok, which are really the important ones. I mean, could he come land here? Sure. I mean, sure he could. Uh, this is the U.S. 27th. Hmm. Now that I've got him on the transport, I'm not exactly sure what I want to do with him. I could put him into Formosa. We could take <laughs> we could take uh, Formosa. That's a level three port. That's a level three port. Okay. Uh, I'm sure that would shake him up a bit, and then we could always put him back on a transport and take him back out. Now that is, you know, burning um, landing ships, so there is that. Now what kind of strength do we have if we were going to attack out here again? I know we've looked at this a few times, but yeah, it's just not strong enough. Now we've got a 3-2 to two there. As a matter of fact, if I move this unit up, we've got two to one odds now and then i could move this one up or i could wait on that one well let's just move this one up i'm actually going to put him on pro well no i'm not actually um let's do an attack there two to one all right he took two losses but held and now we're down to one to two but okay um let's go ahead and land these americans here i want to do it uh sure why not? I don't think he has a lot of air here. Now, uh, we very quickly would have to come up here and do a breakthrough, an opening here. And what I'm really looking to try to do is isolate this these units at Hong Kong. Um, if we could take the port of Hong Kong, that is massive. So let's go up here. Let's D it. And we're straight in there. Now, he's only going to have three turns of supply. So we need something to happen and happen quickly. Um, oh, now that we've taken the port, though, shoot, now I kind of wish I would have left this down here, right? We could have put this right up in here as well. Gosh darn it. Um, what's the Brit transport situation? Well, it, it wouldn't have mattered. Brits are using all their transports. I don't know where. Where the heck are the Brits using transports? Uh, it's a good question, actually. I always have this question. Where in the world are all these transports at this moment? Um, I think it's, you know what, it's because I loaded this guy on one last time. And now he can't. we can't reload. But gosh darn it, that's a brilliant attack. If we go here, if we could come into the port and disembark here, we've got him in all, I mean, we've already got him in all kinds of trouble, let's be honest. Uh, and then next time, hmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Well, you live and you learn. I, I would love to follow that up. Oh, he's he's on to us over here. What does he got? Uh, got a destroyer group. Okay. These two guys can come out here to the South China Sea again. Raider mode. Let's do that. Let's put him there. And uh, we can actually put one more in with him because you can only have five max. So let's do that. And then we'll take this guy. We'll just put him into where? I don't know. Townsville for a turn? Sure. Okay. Um, now then, do I have any American units that can get up here? Uh, could this guy? What if I put him on a transport? Oh, don't have enough. Okay. Uh, well, we're just going to have to wait till next time. Uh, that's pretty pretty simple. Uh, we were bringing this dive bomber unit over here. So, I mean, he's just got to... We've got to wait. we got to wait. Uh, this tactical group does not look very strong. 42 close support. Well, I guess they're okay. 6 and 6. Um, he's a 10 in air combat. What do we have with this air unit. He's a five and eight. Shit, I almost kind of want to start flying him over here by China. Maybe I will. I'll put him in Haiku. Well, does he have that kind of range? He's got an eight 
range. We could fly him to High Thong and then on and start bombing back here. But now, I mean, we're totally behind him here. It's going to be a really interesting decision. What I really, like I said, what I really want to do is surround him here at Hong Kong. Once we do that, I think all, it all breaks open for us there. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm trying to show you guys my mistakes too. So that's why I'm not like, oh, well, I'm going to restart or something and, and do this. Uh, you know, I shouldn't have moved that up there until I was exactly sure what I was going to do, but hey, that it's what happens. I mean, it's one of our first few times playing the game. Um, you know, it's not always going to be perfect. And I want to show you, you know, uh, that like, if you make a mistake, it's, it's not like I'm sitting here playing perfectly every turn or something. We're doing well, uh, but it's certainly not perfect. So I just, you know, I, I guess, I guess that's my speech. Um, next time. I wonder if we could get these units from WeeWAC up into here somewhere uh, and then on. I, I love having this unit back here. If I could have just taken that other Indian unit and stuck it right here, holy smokes. I think we really could have totally cut him off. Um, that is two to one. I'd love to knock him back there and take that hex. Let's try it again. All right, he took one more and loss. Uh, now it's down to one to one. Uh, I could ship these two. It's 23. He's at 25. Three of five. I don't know. Let's give it. Oh, okay. Let's try that one. No, he's holding again. We took one land loss that time. Still two to one. He took one. I mean, we're just, you know, beating the crud out of each other out here. He took another one, uh, but we've really gotten his effectiveness down. Uh, ooh, I guess I could have switched right there, right? Uh, you can kind of switch these in and out a little bit. E okay, um, I've been very reluctant to make this attack. It's still one to one. Oh, that's not good. That's two to one. Don't hate that. I don't hate two to one. Ooh, we retreated. Okay, so we did take a point loss, but we retreated him out of there. I'm not going to move that far forward yet, but we've, we're now starting to knock him back. And man, I really like to see that. This unit can get moving. Um, uh, this unit's kind of just wasting his time back there. We may as well move him up. Let's see what kind of... That's eh, a one to two. That doesn't really do it for me. That doesn't trip my trigger. Uh, it's ones out there. This is fine. I mean, there's just no reason to get that aggressive out here. Uh, we've got a lot of other stuff on the way. Let's keep this unit moving. Let's keep this moving down to Zhenzheng. Uh, we will try to fly some of these American bombers over here and get that going. We've got this out here. Now, he probably could be bombed from Manila. Hmm. Seven, eight, eh, he's nine away. Usually these bombers either have a six or an eight. We'll see. I don't want to lose any subs just for no reason at all. Uh, make sure we don't have any infantry units down here. No, we don't. Okay. Uh, the Brits, you know, all their transports are being used because I did that silly little maneuver up there. Do they get more transports soon? No. As a matter of fact... Well, not a whole lot we can do about that. We're putting them all into upkeep right now. All right, in Australia, I don't think there's a dang thing we have to move, really. Uh, we've got these things coming back in, getting supply. We do have the grayling out here that can move out. Um, he's now fixed, so let's just take him. We'll move him in that mode. This is the Indonesian lane. We'll just put him right there for now. He kind of protects certain things that way. Uh, we've got these other American units that we can start to ship out as we get more and more transports freed up. Still not going after Nomaya. We could eventually. Uh, we've got the Bellu Wood. We've got the Yorktown 2 and the Wasp 2 that are all in here now. Uh, wow, what a force. Let's actually put these guys in with the dudes at Sydney. Uh, we could eventually kind of combine all of this. Uh, we've got seven carriers over here. Uh, do we have, we don't have another, 
let's look at specialty points. Uh, UK is getting close. US will get one next turn. Uh, they get one in two turns. The Brits do. Just kind of looking through this. Oh, China has a specialty. Why don't? Why aren't we using that? We should be. Let's uh, take one of our stronger units out here, something that's a 30 and 30, and we'll make it, that's 23, 29, 22. All right, let's take this 29, and we'll make this an elite unit. Uh, Could have done that before, but okay. Now, now we've made that an elite unit. Um, Australia, yeah, we've only got 28. You need 100, you need 100. Uh, the communists almost have enough. And New Zealand's almost got enough. Okay, we're going to have some real specialized forces out here. How exciting. Um, can he get all the way back here? Gosh darn it, I wanted to move him up there so badly. That would have just kind of broken his back here. I think we're going to do it anyway. It'll just take us an extra turn. Uh, again, there's just not a whole lot I can do with these until I have transports. Uh, we got to get, you know, more of them out, more of them moving, including these Marines, which I think we'll put there because they're going to go to Nomaya, I think. I think that's how we'll do that. Um, same with these guys, you know, what can they do? They're just going to sit around here. Infantry Corps small, Infantry Corps small. Uh, he would have to be active to add him to that. I don't know. Let's just put him up there for now. Uh, Suva. All right. We've got all of these areas. That looks good. We still have like almost nothing sitting at Pearl Harbor, but I'm not expecting an attack there. Uh, it's certainly not imminent. I don't think there's anything we can really move here because of no transports. Let's go up to China again. Just make sure now we're starting to push here and the Americans have landed. How crazy is that? Americans in China. Uh, U.S. probably doing a little too much of that. Let's uh, back that up to 108. Um, we now have 58 transports. How many do we have on the way for the U.S.? Not many. Let's build, let's build another transport. Probably should have built one of these before. Let's go to... I, I mean, we did build some before, but... Probably even more. Let's do transports, all right? We've got 71 landing ships as it stands right now. Uh, you can never go wrong building landing ships, I feel like, down to 224. Uh, we'll hang on to that for this time. Uh, we're doing really well as far as units go. Uh, let's make sure nothing's floating around here. I know that was that American unit that we put down. Just want to make sure if we back up, we can get a better view of the big map. Make sure we don't have anything just kind of floating here or there. Um, this all looks good. Uh, we may come out here and island hop. We could also interdict some of these places if we want or blockade them. Um, okay, that all looks good to me. I think that about does it. We went through the U.S. We're going to hold on to the 224, are we? Are we actually going to do that? Maybe not. Let's do an infantry corps small. <laughs> After I say that, uh, we may as well. Let's do that. Uh, Soviet Union needs 252. China has 252. We can do another infantry army for the Chinese. Excellent. Uh, the Australians are sitting on 73. Oh, Canada gives you an anti-tank if you want it. Oh, that's right. <laughs> logistics. I'm going to do that every damn episode, I swear. I always forget. I always forget. You need logistics for things. Uh, the commies actually have no more logistics. Uh, it's hard to say what to do with them. I mean, hell, I don't know. We give them like supply or uh, supply trucks. You don't need logistics for that. Let's buy one more. Um, India at 109. Plenty of manpower and logistics out here for the Indians. Uh, so let's go back over here. I actually wanted to add to their Air Force, potentially. Um, we could do that in a few turns. They've got enough units for now. I'm just going to leave it. Uh, New Zealand has no logistics. They have a lot of stuff. They just don't have any logistics. So, okay, it is what it is. All right, thanks for joining me. Uh, this game continues to move right along. Uh, looking like it's in our favor, but you just never know. But we do have Americans that have landed in China. 
Um, wow. Okay, we're going to get more over here, I hope. Um, and really start putting pressure on. We could take these islands potentially. I think we need to get down to Bally Poppin. Uh, now, it's not named on the map, but this is where their 30 oil is. If we scoot down here, 30 oil, uh, that's got a big old bullseye on it. We'll bring these troops down. Uh, I'm tempted, actually. This unit, eh, I can't get him off here. I was going to say I was tempted to get something down into Singapore uh, immediately. Uh, so he doesn't just, you know, sit here for a couple of turns and slow us down, but I don't think he's going to land anything there. So anyway, uh, Strategy Gaming Dojo, I'll talk to you next time. Have a good one.